going. So in this video, I'm going to give you a follow-up tip from the tip I did last week about pulling up from the pubic bone. Today, we're going to talk about bringing your hips back into alignment. Again, I am Katrina Oakley, and I am a postpartum corrective exercise specialist who really works with mums who have diastasis recti. All right, so last week we talked about if we're in this position with a back arch here and our lower abs hanging out, we talked about pulling up from the pubic bone. And you can watch that video, um, I'll put the link below. Now this week, what I want to talk about is your hip alignment. So what I find often is that people either squeeze their glutes and push their hips forward, which is really bad for a femur and a hip socket, makes our glutes weak, it tightens our pelvic floor. We go into all of this into, in our eight week challenge. And, or people sling their hips forward. Now this is really common postpartum because we've had a big belly and we've slung our hips forward in order to balance this belly. And then later, we hold our baby up here, balancing on our belly, hips slung forward like this, okay? So both mean our hips are forward, which is not great for our hips and definitely not great for our diastasis. So here's the tip. I want you to think about bringing your hips back. Now, when you bring your hips back, I don't want you to bring your hips back like this because then you're going to topple over. And what tends to happen when people do that is they have to round their back and get this forward head posture, which then puts a lot of pressure down here on your abdomen, which we don't want. So remember, if you are in this position here, this is putting a lot of pressure down and we don't want to do that. So instead, what I want you to think about doing is hip hinging slightly. So you're gonna push your butt back so that this is the front of your hip bone, this is the side of your hip bone here. This area is in line with your ankle bones. So you're gonna stick your butt back until that is in line with your ankle bones. And then you're going to use tip from last week of pulling up from your pubic bone slightly. And then we're gonna use our muscles to hold us here. Now this is gonna be really hard on your muscles because it is so much easier to just sling into our joints. It's just, we can just hang here forever. But to actually pull up and hold with our muscles is a lot harder. Think of it like doing a thousand squats. You're gonna be feeling it. So only do it for a minute or two a day, three times a day to start with, and then build up to six times a day or as often as you stand. And just hold it like this, being really conscious of it for about two to three minutes. And then allow yourself to relax again because we don't want to overwork those muscles because they might get angry with us. So instead, I want you to think about it for a couple of minutes. So pulling up, getting into that good alignment, doing what we're doing in that good alignment, really thinking about keeping that pelvis in that alignment. And then I want you to just allow yourself to relax again. All right, and then what's gonna happen is as you strengthen your body, that relaxed posture is going to be more in line because you've strengthened all of your muscles in order to hold you here. This gives the added bonus of allowing you to strengthen your glutes as well. Woohoo! Bring that booty back, not that mum booty. All right, we don't want that flat mum booty that happens when we sling our hips forward. We want that nice perky booty that happens when our glutes are strong. All right, let me know what you thought of this tip below. Make sure that you subscribe. There should be a button. I'm hoping I'm pointing to the right side this time. And have a fantastic day.